Hello, I'm once again at Lincoln, and it's bloody cold. So as seems to be uh, typical now for me on cold, damp days in Lincoln, is that I decide that I want to go and see some more nearby railways. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to go uh, between Lincoln and Sleaford, and we're going to be exploring the stations between there. So I guess without further ado, let's go. come around the, uh, the back of the other platform just because it's very busy and the train's going to be very busy so I won't be able to explain there. Uh, so we're going to go to Metheringham, Ruskington and Sleaford stations. So yeah, we're going to explore around there. Hope you enjoy. Right, so, Metheringham, we made it. Now, particularly keen viewers of the channel will know that this is actually my second time coming here. Uh, my first time was when I did my uh, test video with the camera. I came here for like five minutes just to give the camera a bit of a run in, but now we're here properly for an actual video and we're gonna actually explore the local area. So I've got about two hours at this station because um, this station only gets a two hourly service on Saturdays, the day I'm filming this. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's use this time to our advantage. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I do have a cold. I'm very sorry about that. I'm trying my best. It's December after all. What can you expect? So, before we leave the station, we will just switch over to the other platform and give it a quick look. So we've got a car park here, pretty standard, and there's also a help point here with the times of the next departures. And there seems to be a ticket machine here as well, only on this platform, there isn't one over there. Platform 2 seems to be rather neglected in terms of amenities. Hang on a second, there's a ticket in this machine, wait, what? It's and any time day return from Metheringham to Lincoln. <laughs> Someone's just left this ticket here in this machine. Ah, uh, never mind, I'm mistaken. This is not a ticket. Never mind. We're good. So now let's take a quick gander at Metheringham. So to my knowledge, Metheringham is a small town in Lincolnshire with a population of around three and a half thousand. So I could continue up this road here and further into Metheringham, or I could go down this road that looks like it goes to nothing. I think I know which one I'm choosing. Now this is more like it. I'm liking this. Ah, a path. There we go. There we go. There's chickens over this wall. Except they are not making any noise now because they can hear me walking by them. <laughs> oh, Robin. Robin, first Robin I've seen of the year. Come on, I'll close No, don't fly away, no, <laughs> no. So here we have a graveyard, a field, and a church up the path. I hope you're enjoying this video about trains as much as I am. <laughs> okay, so we seem to have made our way back into the actual uh, town now, and I've got about uh, 45 minutes until my train to Ruskington arrives, so be there in time, hopefully. Okay, so I'm walking back to the station now to prepare for my train to Ruskington. It's cold, I have a cold, everything's going great.
So, I'm going to wait here now for the train to Ruskington. Ruskington. So, out of all the stations I've been to, this place feels like a sort of hybrid between Metheringham and Saxelby. Mainly just because of the uh, similar looking platforms and these um, green ramps that were similar to Saxelby. There's a plaque back here for uh, Network Rail, unveiled on the 9th of March 2015 by Claire Perry MP. Interesting, for modernisation project. It even says East Midlands trains gone, yeah. Very 2015. So, there's about an hour now until the next train down that will take me to Sleaford. So, in that meantime, let's explore. Proper nice view of the station from over this bridge, but it's just a shame it's got the, the sun directly in your eyes. So I found another path, so of course I'm walking down it, and I believe it leads to that blue bridge I saw from the main bridge at the station, so uh, yeah, hopefully we get a nice view from there. This is a nice bridge. I'm liking it. Now of course when I am posed with a choice of path, I always take the one that Looks like it will lead me to the most middle of nowhere place possible. I don't know why I do this to myself. Oh yes, a field, of course. I'm seeming to notice a trend here in these videos. I just keep bringing myself out to the middle of just some field every time. I need to spice it up a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna stop here just before I go too far and uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go back and explore a bit more of actual Ruskington. <laughs> So now that I'm back at actual civilization, let's explore a part that isn't just a field for a change. Spicing up the content a bit. So I'm walking up this road now, which I believe leads to another bridge, because why not? Let's complete the holy trinity of Ruskington bridges. I just made that up now, that does not exist. Yep, here we are, and you can see the other two bridges that we've been to, and you can just barely make out the station. Anyway, my uh, next train now to Sleaford leaves in about 20 minutes, so it's probably best that I go back to the station now and get the train. Interesting that here this says uh, trains to Spalding and Peterborough, despite the fact that Metheringham says trains to Sleaford, despite the fact that all the trains still go the same places. Interesting. It's interesting here that Platform 1 has got a dot matrix, whereas Platform 2 here doesn't, as well as also Platform 1 has got the ticket machines, the bike racks, all the timetables and everything. There seems to be some sort of Platform 1 bias over here at these stations. All right, any second now, our train will be here. Right, we're on. Off we go to Sleaford.
All right, Sleaford. So, the first thing I saw when I walked out was that there was... I just scared some pigeons. Is that there was a snack bar that was styled with tube roundels, which of course I love. I appear to have uh, ended up on some sort of high street, however this is not what I'm going for. I want to try and see Sleaford Castle, just because it's something I want to try and see, really, put simply. Uh, so I think I can get there going down this path. I like being able to walk by the side of train tracks, pretty nice. So here we are. Behind me is what seems to be the remnants of Sleaford Castle and in front of me is the Sleaford West signal box. And apparently Sleaford is one of the few places remaining to still have north, south, east, west signal boxes. So there you go, fun fact. So I think I'm pretty satisfied now with everything that we've done. So I think I'm going to end the video here. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to, again, Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe, whatever tickles you fancy. So this is likely to be my last video now in the East Midlands, at least for a short while, because I am going to be, by the time this video goes up, I will be back at home for the Christmas holidays. So you can expect to see more stuff in the sort of Northwest now in the short future. So anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. And of course, a huge shout out goes out to all of my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now, and particularly my standard premium donors, Daniel Geographic, David Bainbridge, Dylan Davies, Manic, Rob Rodwick Carter, and Stuart S.